All right, I'm going to try a little more. Please. That's good, right? Yeah, very good. So simple. And I know it's good chocolate that you guys are using, because whenever they use like high quality chocolate, I start sneezing. And right away when I had it, it made my nostril start itching. What? It's, I know, it's this weird thing, but I still eat the hell out of chocolate. I don't believe you. I swear to God. That's not real. I, I, it exists. And you know what else is weird? If I roll around in grass naked, I sometimes get itchy. <laughs> yeah. I'm just weird. City, I think of Italians. And really, I'm not that far off because about a hundred years ago, more than four million Italian immigrants came through Ellis Island, an immigrant inspection station right next to the Statue of Liberty. Many of these Italian immigrants settled in New York City, and lucky for us, they brought their recipes with them. It's really one of the best mint ice creams I've ever had in my life. We're gonna learn how to make spumoni and tartufo at a hundred-year-old pastry shop. Oh my god. Share Italian ice with a king and queens, make gelato in a cutting-edge lab, and taste semifredo in one of the city's finest Italian restaurants. So manja manja, my friends. I've never had Italian ice, and I don't know what to expect but I'm pretty excited that my first time is at the Lemon Ice King of Corona, the premier location for Italian ice. They quite possibly introduced Italian ice to America when it opened 70 years ago. What's also cool is that it's run by some real Italian dudes from the neighborhood. Isaac. Isaac, how you doing, Mike? Corona of the Lemon Ice King. All right, so the Lemon Ice King of Corona. That's us, that's us. We uh, squeeze our own lemons to make the lemon ice. Would you like to try one? Yes, please. Please. Can we start you off with a lemon? So what, what is Italian ice, essentially? Italian ice is a frozen dessert, all water, water-based ice, uh -huh. no dairy. Just like this, no spoon, no need uh, No spoon, <laughs> old-fashioned way. All right. Is this how it... Wow. I think this is like the actual first time that I've ever had Italian yeah, ice, and it's really good. I can tell you that you guys are fully doing the lemons yourself here. 100% natural. Where am I right now? Tell me about Corona. You're in Corona, Queens, Queens, New York. And um, I grew up in this neighborhood. I won't call it a tough neighborhood, but I won't call it a weak neighborhood either. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a closely knit. Everybody knew each other when I grew up. Here's my partner, Vinny. Hey, how's Vinny, it going? Vinny, it's Isaac. What's up? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You guys got into business together? Yeah, we, we, we bought the business together. Right and on. That was about 24 years ago. 24, 25 years from the Beferimo yeah. family. Nicola Beferimo started it in 1944. And uh, his son, Pete, who became the king himself, when he got out of the service, he took it to the next level. All his customers were calling him the Lemon Ice King, and the name stuck. It sounds like you guys were some of the like founders of this style. Pete's father, his name was Nicola, he's the one that he really started, started, because next door where the garage is now used to be a storefront. So that's where Pete's father started making ice, and he did it the old-fashioned way. Hand turning it? Hand turning it. Yeah. And then adding the flavor, you know, lemon and, and the sugar to it or whatever, and making the first cups of Italian ices. You grew up around here then? Yeah, I grew up here. 90% Italian growing up. That was the thing. People, they, they right off the boat. My parents are right off the boat. I was born in Sicily. We were all born in Sicily. Oh, you were born in Sicily. And I was okay. born in Sicily, yeah. So me, my brother, and my sister. You grew up, you worked here we, a lot of times. Oh, we before. grew up here. As kids, we were helpers. You might not say it, but I will for you. You guys created Italian there ice. There you go. <laughs> there you go. First of all, nobody else is taking credit for it. So we will take the credit. There you for go. It. Okay. Someone's got to do That's it. it. I actually would love to try another flavor if you have another recommendation. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a menu for you. I'm gonna make you choose one. Okay, cool. Um, let me try the watermelon, please. So is is your customer base primarily Italians, or who are you getting everybody from the neighborhood all walks of we life? We have all walks of life. Yeah. 
Yeah, we have, um, we get people come say, oh, my grandfather used to take me here, well, my father puts a smile on my face. I'm seeing people lined out the door. Yeah. You, should you want any help, I can help you out. Yes, yes, how you doing, sir? <laughs> we have a super chocolate. Okay. A super peanut butter. <laughs> and what are you getting? And a super mango. Yeah, you guys literally have the best ices in the world. Thank you, sir. I come all the way from Suffolk County for these. Do you? How far away is that? Oh, about 60 miles. 60 miles? Come far and wide. I came all the way from San Francisco. Damn, does everyone have like their finishing touch? Everyone does a different way. You adapt your own skill once you get used to it. All right, who's this for? That's peanut butter, right? Yeah. All right. Bam. Damn, you guys are a lot faster than me. <laughs> When I visit any city, I like to go to places that have been around forever and haven't changed, so I can see what the city used to be. Veneros opened on First Avenue over 100 years ago, and while the neighborhood has changed, Veneros remains the same, even using the same recipes created by the Sicilian master bakers that first ran their pastry kitchen. Hey. Hey, how are you? Isaac. Robert. Robert Zarelli. Nice to meet you. Yeah, welcome to Veneros. Cool. Yeah. Come on in the back. OK, so here we have some tartufo, spumoni, and tortoni. Wow. Let me go put some on a plate for you. Get comfortable. Thank you. So what do we got here? This is tortoni, and this is one of my ideas, a chocolate-covered cannoli with vanilla gelato filling. Yeah, give it a good bite, but it's, uh, there you go. I love the texture. It kicks the hell out of the yeah. regular cannoli. And then this, the tortoni, is a whole nother thing. What is inside here? That is also, it's a heavy cream. It's just like, you know when you make whipped cream and, and a cake? Heat it up, but then cool down. It's very different. Very light. It's light, exactly. Right away, you get a blast of flavor from the, the cream, but it doesn't have that like total solid fat that you get in like gelato or ice cream, so it does Yes. kind of slide down a lot easier. Exactly. How old is Veneros now? Veneros was established in 1894, so it's 123 years this year. You're the current owner. Right, me and my three sisters. It goes back to my dad. He was here until he passed away in 94, so he worked for like 50 years. And he worked for his cousin Mike, Michael Venero. And Mike was the son of the original founder, Antonio Venero. So Antonio was my father's uncle. So you guys have been making frozen Italian desserts since the 20s. Yeah, since the advent of the freezer, the ice cream, yeah, it can hold up. Otherwise, it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Are there bakers here right now? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go catch them. I want to meet some of these guys. You got it. I'm heading back to the kitchen to make Veneros Spumoni. The way they prepare it here is amazing. There are three layers of gelato wrapped around a meringue filling. This is Sacramento. Sacramento, yeah, Isaac. Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sacramento is our assistant head pastry chef. This is basically the best gelato this side of the Atlantic. All right. And you're the maker? Yeah, I'm the maker. Cool, man. Let me uh, squeeze by here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys uh, definitely. Yes. Have you ever come across like guys that are just like excellent pastry chefs, but you can't hire them because they're yes. like Quasimodo all day? Well, just, like, yeah. to, like... We're all a little vertically challenged here now, so yeah. <laughs> oh, my god. This is driving me crazy. Yeah, this is a good site for me. Yeah. All right, I'll slunch over for the rest of it. So what do we do in Sacramento? What do we so... got? For the Mega Spumoni, uh -huh. so we have a three three flavors. We have the vanilla, mm -hmm. we have a pistachio, and we have a strawberry. And plus we have the filling. First we're gonna make the merengue. Merengue filling. Yeah, merengue okay. filling. So we're gonna put the egg whites. Okay. Egg whites. Good amount of egg whites. Yeah. This is part of the sugar. This works better than uh, regular sugar. Yeah. So we're just waiting until the egg whites fluff up basically until it's a meringue. Yeah. How old were you when you started working? Uh, 21. 21, you yeah. started here? Oh, oh OK, cool. Right now, I'm 53. You're 53? Yeah. You 53. look good. Thank you. So now we're going to mix it all together. Uh-huh. And then we're going to put the cherries. Some cherries, cherries inside of it, OK. Yeah, some cherries. Oh, that smells good. You're going to put some almonds. Uh-huh. It's looking good. Yeah. See, over here, they have a Vanilla and strawberry. So this is vanilla and strawberry gelato. So we're gonna put the pistachio uh -huh. around. All right, we got we got vanilla, strawberry, pistachio. Yep. Okay. Now, now we're gonna do the filling. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. All right, got you. So this is our, our pastry yeah. bag. Okay. 
Have you guys been doing it the same way like this since you can remember? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Okay. We put the cover. Cover some, okay. some more of the vanilla. More vanilla yeah. gelato we made. Yeah. Okay. That's, a, that's a cover. You press it. Yeah. Press mold it down. It down. Okay. You press it down. See? Oh, nice. Wow. You can cut it. Cut them four. Oh yeah. Damn. Look at that. See? <laughs> this is a Veneros Spumoni. Damn, that looks for, good. For a generation, we do the same thing. So then it's yeah. uh, vanilla, strawberry, pistachio, and our meringue filling we made. Yeah. So, okay, I'm so gonna go in. Enjoy. Oh my God. Oh, it's so good. Thick. And I think it's because I like the texture of the meringue so much. It's not as soft as ice cream, but it goes well, really well yeah. with it. Those Italians are onto something, huh? They got something yeah. down here. <laughs> I could not get enough of Venero Spumoni, so as a bonus, we're gonna make Tartufo. I've never had Tartufo, but I do know that it's ice cream covered in chocolate and it's made by hand. Two things that I love. What kind of dried fruit is this? Uh, this is called Tutti Frutti. That's Italian stuff. It's orange. Uh, cherries. Um, it looks yeah, like the cereal yeah, yeah. with the Flintstones on it, you know? The <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're fruity right. Pebbles. How fruity. can I help? Yeah. Throw the fruit first. Okay, fruit, yeah. all of it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Good. some Good. cherries. Yes, yeah, some cherries. Okay. And we're going to add the, the liquor. Galliano. Yeah, yeah. So just a nice little cup of yeah, it? Yeah, it is. A cup. Oh, we're it's got mix. a lot of alcohol. Yeah. And we're going to mix it. Ooh. More vanilla yeah. gelato. Yeah, more vanilla gelato. Okay. To make it like a little bowl. A lot of handmade gelato ice cream yeah. here, huh? Yeah. Use you your see? hands a lot. And you put it inside. Press down. And then, you see? Mm -hmm. Two fingers. You gotta go in the middle. Make the oh, hole. Okay. Make yep. the hole. Yep. Make the hole. And then we, we're gonna put the fruit. How about that? Yeah. More? So that's fine. That's perfect. perfect. Okay. You know why you make it before? Uh, you know, I've been in the kitchen a little bit. Oh, you see? <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna do like a layer? Yeah. That's chocolate. See? Mm hmm Again. This is nice. I never get to use my hands on ice cream. Perfect. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Bam. We have the chocolate ready. OK. Always. Oh, fast, man. Fast. Just let it, let it go. Yeah, and then you pick it up. See, this is what happened when... <laughs> God. When you keep it a little longer, that's happened. You get deep and take them out right away. Oh, See? no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, that's my yeah. crappy shell. That's all right. I'll eat that one. You can have that one. All right. Oh, See? yeah. I love this kind of stuff. OK. Look at all that. Right. Oh, my God. Cheers. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's with the dry fruit. Mm. So um, we got the chocolate shell. We got vanilla gelato. I've never had this, and it's absolutely outstanding. Come on, let's go. Eat. <laughs> Enough talk, more eat. <laughs> A few blocks down from Veneros is Il Laboratorio del Gelato. I know the owner, John Snyder, also created Chow Bella, which he turned into a massively successful gelato pints business before selling it. Rather than walking away from the gelato game, he opened up Il Laboratorio. A single location where he gets to experiment with top-notch ingredients to create almost 300 flavors of gelato. This tells me that this man isn't about the money. He's about the gelato. How you doing? Hi there. Isaac. Isaac, John. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome. Thank you. Full on uh, science lab. We are a full on science lab. <laughs> I right. love it. Uh, can I try a couple? Yes, please. Uh, what do you recommend? This is not so so traditional Italian, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. I saw lavender with honey. We're making it today. Nice. Let's get the lavender right away, right? I can smell it yeah. even when I eat it. Yeah. And I grow up around lavender, so oh, it's okay. like yeah. like back in California already. Sure. Uh, let me. Can I try uh, the apple cinnamon? Sure. Please. We make apple, and then we make it with cinnamon. We make both. That is amazing. Let me order a cup. Sure. I'm gonna go with black sesame, and how about that apple cinnamon, please? Okay, sure. Yeah. How did you stumble into the gelato making business in the first place? When I was 18, I took a trip to Italy, and I fell in love with ice cream in Italy, and I came back to New York, 
and I was in school at the time, but I wasn't very focused. And I decided to uh, quit school and start my first company, which was Chow Bella Gelato. How long have you guys been here? We've been in this location for seven years, but we've been in business for 15. What's the fat content? Depends on the flavor, uh -huh. but it's anywhere between 5 and 11%. 11% is considered really high for that's gelato. A, that's a bit high for gelato. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it, it does depend on the it flavor. It makes for a very dense, rich, rich flavor, though. Yeah. And our, you know, our overrun is where we really, uh, I think, excel. The we, overrun, how much air you whip inside? What, right. what is... We're pushing the limits of our machinery all the time. Can you show me a little bit about these machines? I actually want to see, like, the, how it compresses it and what you're talking about. Yeah, sure. What's going on back there? So this is where it's all made in the back here. Full on science lab. Yeah. Jenny is picking lavender over here. Hi, Jenny. Here. How you doing? Good. May, may I smell? Thank you. Ooh. So you hit. Oh, that's so nice. So this is where everything's made. Today we're making fresh mint chip. OK. Um, so this is just our, our base with fresh mint. You guys fully chop mint inside yeah, that Yeah, house. we're pureeing the mint. Oh, my uh, God. That's what we're doing. That and is then, a, a very potent mint. Yeah. It's really one of the best mint ice creams I've ever had in my life. Keep up the good work. <laughs> I'm going to the restaurant Babo in Greenwich Village to learn how to make semi-fredo. And to be honest, I'm not sure what semi-fredo really is. I'm picturing lasagna. Whatever it is, it'll be good because award-winning head pastry chef Rebecca DeAngelis will be showing me how to make it. So this is your domain in the kitchen? This little area, believe it or not, is pastry, yeah, for me. How about working here at Babo? What's it like? Working at Babo is like being part of this New York landmark that's real. There are people here who have worked since day one, and they don't leave because they just love this place. What what really inspired you to become a pastry chef? At 15, I was like, oh, I need a car. I need to save up for a car. And uh, there was a very fancy French pastry, like, wedding cake shop right around the corner. Yeah, Jacques Depre, um, he just trained me for the next almost four years. Um, grueling, though. And I was like, I want to go to law school. I don't want to <laughs> do this. And he was like, no. Is law still on the horizon, or have you just completely thrown that idea away? I'm done. You're done with I'm it. Done. So we're going to make semi Fredo? Yes. All right. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. Everything. Everything? Yeah, I'm just I... going to make you do the whole thing. <laughs> All right. This is just egg yolks and some sugar that's been cooked to a softball stage. What is semi Fredo? Semi Fredo means semi frozen. Okay. So because you have this egg base right here, and then you're holding in whipped cream. It's frozen, but not quite. So it's like a very nice, like, luscious, cold dessert. Um, so we're all set with that. Now okay. we just have to add the liqueur and the pistachio paste. Once this is fully mixed, uh -huh. we're going to transfer it. I'm going to grind a cup of pistachios. OK. Next, we have some heavy cream. So we do like a nice soft whip. So we're going to add a little bit in here. OK, so now I have to punch out the flourless chocolate cake. So we make this. Okay. Nice. You want your rings cold. OK. It just gives like a cleaner cut. OK. And you're just pressing in. I'm going to try one myself. Yeah. The next um, step is we soak the cake with espresso. We take trebly. Uh, mix it with a little simple syrup because the trebly can be very um, bitter. What is it? Trebly? Coffee extract. This is coffee extract. Yeah, do you want to try it? Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> it's, it tastes like really, really strong, bitter coffee. Yes. So now you're just you're brushing the cake and yes. it's gonna absorb it. Yep. And this does this doesn't freeze too hard because of the alcohol percentage in it. Correct. That's the other reason why we do the alcohol. Um, all right, so now we're ready to pipe the semi fredo. Sweet. So start slowly. Uh huh. When you think it's not full, stop. Because a little it, it, it settles. settles. Okay. Correct. You want to okay. take it? Slow and steady will win the race occasionally. Whoa! They don't build machines more efficient than you. 
So then we're just going to put some plastic on top and freeze it. And uh, I'm going to play one up for you now. This is a pistachio sauce or espresso syrup. OK. And then you take more chopped pistachios. Oh, yes. It definitely looks like pistachio ice cream on the top. Yeah, right? Which really, in a sense, it kind of is. And we're still cooking the yolks like so, you would. So it's like the distant cousin of ice cream. Yeah, chocolate well, sauce. You make everything look so easy. And then we just chop it. The chocolate cigarette. Cheers. Cheers. OK, how do you? You got to just go. <laughs> I want to see you attempt this. OK. Ooh. Give it a little swirl around the other stuff. Ooh. <laughs> it's going to make me cry. It's really. Do you want the whole thing? I'm not, I don't even look at it, actually, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god, it's so good, though. I mean, this is a classic Bobo dessert. I would just come here just for this. Now yeah, you're going to feed me. You want no, to? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> thank you. I, I, thank you. Thank you. For letting me back here. I learned a few things. In fact, I didn't even know what semi Fredo was. I hate to say it. I thought it was like a pasta, though. I, I feel like you still don't know what it means. <laughs> You're I, just I, like, what is this? I, in a sense, I really don't. <laughs>